Hello, here is a NetMeans platform application and let me explain to you how the different pieces fit together. You can see here a list of modules and let's now diagramize via a mind map. So this is satellite management system via a mind map how all the different pieces fit together. We first edit this text and this is satellite management system. Now, in the first place, we started by creating a domain module. The domain module was SA domain, and SA domain had a domain class called satellite, and also a domain class called antenna. We then ended up with a, another module called SA Data Manager and that data manager uh, it had nodes and it had child factories and what was especially interesting about the SA Data Manager was that there was an Explorer Manager that was shared between a number of other modules. So we had an Explorer Manager called Satellite Data Controller. And I can drag this here and drop it in there. And so we can click on this to jump directly into that file. Now this Explorer Manager was shared between a number of other modules. So there was a, a module called um, S, S A uh, Explorer and S A Explorer contained simply one top component, um, an Explorer with a bean tree view. And just for clarity here, we could again um, open that Explorer module and move the class in there as a reference and click on the class to open it and this contained a bean tree view and in fact the satellite of course and uh, the satellite domain these classes we could also reference so there was a satellite and there was an antenna and you can see that there was also a part and we also dragged the part in there so we had the explorer and in addition to the explorer we had a um, manager and so another child here is a manager and I like it down here so it's a manager and add another child here and it had a um, was also an explorer with uh, outline view okay so here we could again uh, do the same as before and take the SA managers top component and reference it right there um, now uh, the SA Explorer what you can say here is you can add a transition from here to the domain because um, there was a dependency between these two and here we add a transition um, again to the domain which means that we can click on these blue guys if I double click on it you can see that the domain becomes uh, highlighted so there was a dependency from these two on the domain um, but there was no connection between these two and there was also a connection from here to the data manager and so let's see if we can add I think there's only one transition per node yeah, we can't have two, um, which would be nice. And it would be nice to also be able to draw arrows between these two to show their relationships. 
But um, we can go further and we can tweak the various colors that we can see here. So you can see here we have a mind map tab. We can tweak everything. Uh, so all the colors and the spacing between them and so on. And you can we can uh, collapse everything. So fold all. Say unfold all. Or we can we can fold this one. Uh, just this particular one. Is, oh, I don't think you can unfold per item. Oh, you can by clicking on this, uh, clicking on this plus minus button in between here. Uh, so you can remove topics. You can copy sets of topics. We can add notes to ourselves. So let's say we add a note here. So uh, data manager um, had has notes. Factories and then Explorer Manager, and then we can say OK. And now we can see that there's a note in here with more details, and we can import notes from somewhere as well. Um, so we so we've added files, we've added notes. We could add a URI to some online location. And finally, once we're happy with everything, um, we can export the map. Um, so first of all, a nice image. So say Samasis. So um, yes, we'll add the file extension PNG. And now take a look. We have a nice image of the relationships and the structures and the modules in our application. And we could also export the map as a plain text. So let's see what you get. Text file. Yes. So now we have a text file. OK, so here we have a text file. And we could also use the mind map formats. So let's close the other ones here. We can export as a, uh, well, let's make a markdown file. Yes. So here is a markdown file. It would be nice to be able to import uh, one of these files as well to say uh, import mind map file. And so we can also say we want a one of these mind maps. And here we go. So here we get an XML format. So these are all different formats of for exporting our mind map. In short, I think this is a wonderful tool for teaching, for going over um, some structure, some architecture that's been implemented, or to plan the implementation or the architecture of something. What I particularly like is when you go to the uh, page of this module. So igomasnitsa.com slash netbeans that uh, hyphen mmd hyphen plugin. Um, you, you read all about this, exactly the functionality that I've shown. And you can see the motivation behind it. The main part of a software project is not the code, but the knowledge generated during the project. Knowledge is the main part of every business today, and it is very important to move the generated knowledge from non-formal level to formal levels to avoid its loss. There are many approaches to save knowledge, and a mind map diagram is one of them. It is also very important to keep the distance between the project and its knowledge as short as possible. This is a nice idea. And the ideal variant is to keep the knowledge just within the project as a document set. If you use any external knowledge engineering tool, then the distance already is not so short. And for this, this particular reason, this decision was made to develop a plugin which would allow to create and edit the knowledge graph within any netbeans based project. So you can do this within any netbeans project, HTML project, Java project, whatever. You can go to a new file and create a diagram. And this diagram is then part of your project. So you can see it's in my project. And I can immediately see um, the structure of my project and the ideas, the knowledge of the project is found within the project itself. This is, of course, not UML modeling. This is quickly sketching out 
um, not using the UML modeling structures, but quickly sketching out the structure of something and the ideas and brainstorming and um, very useful in, in teaching and quickly mapping out things. I know that I'll be using this a lot in NetBeans platform classes because typically I'm drawing on the board um, and then we are coding, but much better than drawing something, uh, drawing a, this diagram on the board is to um, have it directly in the application structure itself so that the students in the class can refer to that diagram again without constantly looking up on the board and having to draw it from the board onto paper and losing the paper. Now it is directly in the project. So I think this is a wonderful addition to NetBeans, especially useful for teaching, for sketching out ideas, um, for reflecting on the state of a project, for going back to, to seeing where things are and deleting items and, and redrawing them, removing and adding. And this is really a wonderful feature. Thanks and have fun with mind maps and NetBeans.